Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Sarah and this is a coloring book review uh, flip through for Joanne Bashford's Lost Ocean, an inky adventure and coloring book. So to start off, let me give you the dimensions of the book. And they are 10 by 10 inches. I believe this is as close as I can get it to the book when it's open because the pages are double-sided. And there goes my cat again. For those of you who don't know, my water bowl for the cats that I have are is located right behind my camera. So that's why every once in a while you will see a cat in view of the camera. So I apologize for that. So this is the front. Here is the back. This is the spine, and this is the thickness of the book. Now there are some pictures in here I have colored already, um, so some of you, this will answer some of your questions about the work that I've done um, to let you see some of the stuff I've done, and also um, what kind of mediums work best for the book. So inside you have the front cover flap here that opens up. And this is regular paper. There's no glossy coating on this or anything. So um, any medium will work on this page here, including alcohol markers. So then you have the signature intro here with the information page behind with fantastic illustrations by Joanne Bashford around. And you have the uh, name plate here that you can put in your own name. And then you have the hidden inside this book are, and here's the, the items that are hidden in the book along with the numbers of how many times they're going to be inside the book. Then you have an introduction here. This is her third book. I believe this is the third one. Um, the other two... A Secret Garden and Enchanted Forest I'll be doing a review for um, probably later today. Um, I already have an artist edition for The Secret Garden done, so if you check uh, down below um, or click on, click on my name over there and you'll see the other videos that I've done and you'll be able to find that one. So let me go ahead and do the flip through. The paper quality in the book is um, just like all the other books that she's done. If you don't have any of her books, um, it is a thinner cardstock type of paper um, and will work good for just about any medium. If you're careful with water, it will work with watercolor. Um, don't saturate the pages, but if you just do a little bit water, uh, a little bit of the water, it will work just fine. And if you allow your page to completely dry, the ripples will go out of it as well, for the most part. So the pages would be good for colored pencils, gel pens, ink pens, um, crayons, markers, water-based markers. Um, Alcohol-based markers will run through the backside of the page. If you don't care about the backside of the page, then by all means do that, but just be aware. Um, this is one of the first ones that I have done in this book, and I really enjoyed doing this. Um, this is um, Crayola, actually, Crayola uh, colored pencils on there. I wanted to see what different mediums would do, so I did use some different types of water, I'm sorry, of colored pencils in this book. just so I could show you guys the difference. This one was done with Prismacolor. So if you can see that, it turned out very well. I really liked, um, even the Crayola lay down on these pages were great. They did a fantastic job. This one was done with the Spectrum Noir line of colored pencils. 
and I will zoom in since it does have some detail in here. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the Spectrum Noir had nothing to do with the page itself. It had to do with the Spectrum Noir colored pencils. And I say that because Spectrum Noir pencils um, have a horrible habit of breaking off little pieces. Um, and while you're coloring, if you cover, if you color over any of those p little pieces in your, in your picture, those little pieces will not come off your picture. They're like permanently impressed in where you colored them over. And um, I don't care for that with the Spectrum Noir line of colored pencils. However, the color is really good. They seem to be a little bit more muted than um, some of the other colors, other colored pencils that I have used. Um, I think that's the last one I have colored in this particular book. So let me finish the flip through. So like I said, watercolor will work in this book. I've not tried it, but I have tried it in um, one of the other books. And since the paper quality is the same, it, it will work for this too. You just have to be really careful with the water. And I would not recommend using a water brush just because you can't control the amount of water that you're putting on the page. And with pages like these, it's really imperative that, that you kind of watch how much water you're putting on there. Let me get the cat gone here. There we go. And then in the back, you'll have the key to the lost ocean. It will show each one of the pictures and what is found in that picture from the list of things that you can find in the book from the front. right there so you'll have down below like this one says one diamond ring so you'll find one diamond ring in this picture and as you can see I didn't use any test page in this book because I knew that colored pencil would work just fine and I kind of wanted to know um, which I wanted you guys to see what colored pencils work best for this book so that's the end of the key here. Um, the thing that I really like about this book is that there is a huge flip out section that has uh, four, it's four pages long and I can't get all of that on camera. So I will show you um, bit by bit. So that's the first two and this is the second two. And then on the back side of this, you'll see there is the first two and here is the second two and then the last part of the picture let me fold this back up real quick you will see the fold out flap that is the last of the book so thank you for watching and as always happy coloring